at the time, and um, he was living in Washington, D.C., working on the Hubble Space Telescope. My really good friend from high school who lived in D.C. at the Justice, she was working in the Justice Department at the time, and I would visit her occasionally. And one day she said, you know, I have a, an astrophysicist that you really need to meet. Uh, she had always been talking about her brilliant friend in New York who I just absolutely had to meet. And, <laughs> and uh, at the beginning in D.C., I mean, I was dating somebody and, and Megan was dating somebody and never, the timing never quite worked out. And then eventually in February, there was like an opening. And Nadia said, you should meet Megan. <laughs> well, it was at a tapas bar. <laughs> and whenever I say that, people think I'm saying a topless bar. Um, which, which Megan finds embarrassing, and I should too, but... <laughs> so it was, it was at a Spanish restaurant. Nadia brought Megan, and uh, my roommate who knew Nadia brought me. We saw each other every day of the weekend, so I think the next day we went to the Salvation Army to go shopping together, <laughs> and he held my hand. So, you know, it was... I, I I thought sign. it was very sweet of him <laughs> to do this, and it, it kind of like tipped me off to, you know, that this could actually become a relationship, and it wasn't just a blind date. And we saw Harold and Kumar goes to White Castle, go yeah. to White Castle. So we always say that our relationship started with Harold and Kumar go to White Castle, and we were able to go to the Upfronts, and uh, the guy who played Harold was in a new sitcom, and he was there, and we actually went up to him and we were like, hi, we have to tell you this. We're in a relationship because you did Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. <laughs> and he thought we were crazy. It just seemed like the right time. And so uh, we figured Megan could meet me in Paris. And, and initially it was just, this will be a fun vacation. Let's go to Paris. You know, I'm, I'll be there already. Just come and meet me. I went to Spain a, month, a week earlier and uh, being a sort of neurotic guy, I got one of those travel uh, pouches and had the ring strapped to my stomach the entire time. When Megan met me in Paris, I sort of had the ring, I had this whole plan. He told me he had a special dinner planned on Friday night in Paris, and I was like, ooh, a special dinner. He's like, but I really want to go to Luxembourg Garden before dinner. I'm like, well, where is the restaurant? He, it's on the other side of the river. And I was like, Josh, this doesn't make any sense. Like, let's go to the garden. Like, we'll go after, we'll go a different day. At that point, he's just like, you know what? Let's go call a cab. I was like, okay. He's like, we're gonna go to the Luxembourg Gardens. I'm like, okay. Yeah, it's like, we're going and we're going right now. We're going to the Luxembourg Gardens, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so we got there, uh, I asked her to marry me. I got down on one knee and realized the ring was still strapped to my stomach in the travel uh, wallet. It was very romantic. Right, so I had to unbutton my shirt and take off this fanny pack and then unzip it and in the midst of it, I was kind of nervous, and I just kind of handed her the ring after she said yes, and like didn't even do the, you know, place the ring on the finger, and, and you know, it was, I guess it was romantic. It certainly wasn't yeah. well executed, but, it was fitting. but yeah, it sort of works for me, so.